Hi everyone, welcome back to Bible in a Year. My name is Natalie and we are going to start reading the Bible cover to cover beginning January 1st, 2023 and read all the way through until December 31st, 2023. I am starting this channel early so that people have a chance to find us and if you have, remember to subscribe, like, and share. So today uh, we're going to be reading out of Matthew. I'm just going to give you a little a little snippet of a piece of scripture. Uh, we'll revisit the entire um, book of Matthew in 2023. This one is um, from Matthew 18, chapter 18, and uh, it is a common scripture that is read in churches and um, religious arenas. It's about when Jesus, as a shepherd, leaves his flock of 99 and he goes to look for the one that's wandered off. Now, how we can relate this to our own lives is every single one of us has wandered off. We have wandered away from God, even if we were never Christians, just as human people, we wander away from love. We wander away from truth. We wander away from security. Um, we were created to have um, uh, independence and choices. And boy, do we use it. So if we can just remember as we read this, the significance of Jesus, of God, leaving an entire group that is grounded and anchored in his love and truth. He's leaving them. He's leaving them and he's saying, there's one over there. They've wandered away. I've got to go get them. And then if we can also remember that when we are in a situation of wandering away and we are completely lost and we can't find our way back, maybe it's time to just sit still because he's looking for us, because he wants us, because he loves us with agape love and he wants us back. So let's read Matthew chapter 18 and starting at verse 10. See that you don't despise one of these little ones, for I tell you that in heaven their angels always see the face of my Father who is in heaven. For the Son of Man came to save that which is lost. What do you think? If a man has 100 sheep and one of them goes astray, doesn't he leave the 99, go to the mountains, and seek that which has gone astray? If he finds it, most certainly, I tell you, he rejoices over it more than over the 99 which have not gone astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. So, have a wonderful day, everybody, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.